everybody, it's Mr. Jake from Burp Plank here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Uh, for today's activity, um, it's going to be really simple, um, but it's also one of my favorites. Um, if you've known me before, we've done this before and you guys seem to love it, so I figured I'd teach you how to do it again. Um, for this, all you're going to need is four popsicle sticks. I have the jumbo ones here, but you can use whatever ones you want. They just seem to work the best, but the skinny ones or the normal ones will work just fine. Also, you could use um, markers. To decorate if you want you don't need to but if you do want to decorate it you will need that um, other than that I'll explain more um, when I'm making it I'm gonna put you guys at a different angle too so you can see me create it it might take you guys a little bit to learn um, it's a little tricky um, but once you do you can get it just like that but other than that we're gonna get right into it and I'll see you guys there all right everybody so we're just gonna get right into the exploding boomerang craft um, I do want to mention this isn't like a real boomerang it won't come back it's more for just fun and just for show and that's just the name I gave it. Um, so for this, I obviously just decorated mine, um, just simple ones. I put Verplank, Plank, Mr. Jake on one and the other, and then just a simple design on the other. I do want to mention, uh, you might want to not get too crazy with the decorations, just because it is just popsicle sticks. Or are, um, they can break, so I just don't want you guys to be disappointed if they do. But other than that, we're going to get right into it. Um, like I said before, this could take a couple of tries. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do, but if you are struggling with it, just ask someone in your home to give you a hand for it. But other than that, what you're going to do is you're going to start off by just making an A formation like that with the popsicle sticks. Okay. And then you are going to take your other one, your third one, and you're going to put it right across just like this, a little bit up. I find it's easier if you just make like the letter A kind of thing. And then this is where the tricky part comes in. You're gonna take your final one, you're gonna to wanna to put it underneath, right, underneath that, the one that says Mr. Jake right here. And you're gonna overlap it on top of the one in the middle. And then you're gonna try and sneak it right down in the middle here on the end of this popsicle stick. Oop, see, even, even I messed up, but you're just gonna to wanna to try again. Sometimes I find it's easier to do it on my lap. I might have to do that here in a second if I can't get it. Oh, and I got it. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it might take you a couple of tries. I know it took me a couple of tries to learn, but once you guys get it, it's pretty fun. And I mean, it's pretty simple to make and you guys can play with distances and also just have a great time. I know I love it when I do it with my students. So other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed and that's the Exploding Boomerang. Alright everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this fun little project that you can do right at home with just a couple of popsicle sticks. I know when I was doing it at the school, what we would do is we would take a tape measure and we would throw it the amount of distance and then measure who could get it the farthest before it explodes. And we would also partner up and see how many times we could pass it back and forth before it exploded. So if you guys want to try that and then send me your results, uh, you can just put, I'll put my email down below and take a picture or a video of you guys doing it and creating it. And other than that guys, I hope you had fun and stay safe and I hope to see you all soon.